This week on The Wire, March price rise defies virus, Latrobe tips sharp rebound, and low rates drive high inquiries. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So our top story for this week, March price rises defy virus. So Australian house prices continued to rise in March, shrugging off the initial impacts of the virus crisis on real estate. New price data published this week by two key research sources show that house prices rose in capital cities and in regional markets during the month, despite government restrictions on auctions and open inspections, and the generally negative sentiment in the community. CoreLogic figures showed every capital city and all regional jurisdictions except the Northern Territory recorded price uh, rises in house values during March. There was a similar result for price rises in the latest quarter too. Now nationally, house prices increased 0.7% and apartments, uh, apartment prices increased 0.6% in March, and that's according to the CoreLogic data. The SQM research figures also show no evidence of a negative reaction to the coronavirus situation. Its figures show that there have been meaningful price rises during March for houses in Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, Canberra, Darwin and Hobart, with no change in Brisbane. Adelaide was the only city to record a small decline in March, according to SQM. Now, for our next story. Latrobe tips a sharp rebound. So Australia's housing market, employment conditions and economy are likely to rebound strongly following the COVID-19 outbreak. And that's coming from Chief Investment Officer at La Trobe Financial, and that's Chris Andrews. Andrews highlights his confidence in the ability of the Australian economy to bounce back once the immediate threat of the virus has passed, referring to the immense resilience previously seen in the Australian housing market. Andrews notes periods in the past when the housing market has initially responded negative to broader economic conditions, including the global financial crisis in 2008 and the 2017 to 2019 credit squeeze, but recovered strongly soon afterwards. Andrews said, in both cases there was an initial drop, but in both cases there was that was followed by a sharp rebound, as more normal market conditions re-emerged. So that is a really good baseline for our thinking around house prices. He adds that house prices are less volatile than the share market and, that's why, and that our financial system is strong. Now for our final story of the week, guys, Lowe's rates drive high inquiries. So online lenders are experiencing a sharp increase in inquiries as homeowners look to refinance, availing of the lowest mortgage rates in Australian history. Mortgage broker Clint Howen of Hero Home Loans Online says inquiries have increased to five times their usual traffic with first home buyers and families driving the surge. Howen said, we're an online mortgage broker and lender, always 100% online, and now that you can't physically see people, we're seeing a lot more people come through. This happened after the GFC as well. The stock market crashed, people took money out, and people had self-managed super funds. The same thing is kind of happening now. It's early days, but we're getting the sense of people feel safer with property. It's gonna take a while to play out though, I think six to 12 months, and that's all coming from Howen. Howen says also that interest rate, the lowest interest rate now is 2.09%, with some banks, uh, example, Commonwealth, offering 2.19 fixed. All right, guys, well, that's our top stories for the week. Remember to like, comment, and share this video, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series, and if you want to submit a question or there is a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. See ya.